smarter than all of us. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably true. <laughs> Combined. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just joking. All right, guys, you know what? We are starting off this morning with some chilly conditions. It's breezy out there. A front move through yesterday. That's why you had some rainfall across the area. And now taking a look outside, it's dry, but we're going to look for a chance for some rain to come through again this afternoon. So grab your jacket and uh, take the rain gear, too, heading out the door. You're definitely going to need it, and the kids are probably going to need it on their way home from school. Downtown camera view is quiet for us. This is, of course, part of the Dave's Claymore RV weather camera network, uh, but you can see the cloud coverage here across the area. It's 33 degrees. You have that north wind will continue today, about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Right now, 14 mile an hour sustained winds there, which puts your wind chills down to around 23. So that's what it's feeling like outside as you head out the door. And all across the area, we're seeing those temperatures in the 30s. Some of us just below freezing, others, again, mid to upper 30s with a few 40s down to the south near McAllister and Poto. All right, so here's our future track today. We're going to be looking for cloudy skies with the chance for rain that starts to pull into the area um, around that 3 o'clock hour or so. So you'll see scattered showers here across green country with temperatures staying in the 40s and the low to mid 40s, which means it's a cold rain for us once again. We'll be looking for a north wind then on top of that. Highs today will only hit about 43 degrees, maybe 42, but right there in the low to mid 40 range here, which is about 10 degrees below where we should be for this time of year. Then, as we head into uh, the evening there, those showers will start to lift. Any wintry weather looks like it's going to stay to the west and to the north of us. Uh, we'll just see, again, that cold rain, then cloudy skies overnight tonight. And as we head into the start of our Tuesday morning, we'll be uh, waking up with temperatures around 35 degrees. Then through the day on Tuesday, another ch uh, slight chance for seeing a couple of showers across parts of the area. Otherwise, we'll look for that cloud coverage to kind of stick around until the evening. And highs for Tuesday will be getting up again into the lower to mid 40s there across the area past that then heading into Wednesday our chance for rain really increases here across the area so this is what that looks like on our future track throughout the day on Wednesday you have temperatures that drop in the morning you start to see that moisture that pulls in so you may even see some areas that have a slight chance for looking at a little bit of a rain and snow mix this again is going to be on Wednesday morning then those temperatures start to rise it looks to be another day with cold rain out there that'll continue throughout the morning hours after about mid morning as temps Start to rise it'll just be an all rain event for us out there but we are again looking for a, probably the best chance for rain on Wednesday so for today again scattered showers expected in the afternoon for Tuesday maybe a couple of showers out there with temperatures staying chilly then again on Wednesday you may see a little bit of a rain snow mix especially to the far western counties of, uh, of green countries you get a little bit closer towards areas like Oklahoma City the center part of uh, Oklahoma there um, and then an all rain event for the rest of the day on Wednesday then you finally get to see the sun return as you head into Thursday through the weekend there. We're going to be seeing temperatures then slowly warming back into the 50s and 60s by the weekend. Corey,